team is serious about it when they beat the players out there. Oh, she's ready. Right? Uh-huh. Uh, happening today as well in Indianapolis, a national conference designed to better protect you online. CyberTech Midwest starts this morning downtown. News 8's Angelie Cockaday joins us from the convention center. Angelie, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. Well, cyber technology affects pretty much every part of our daily life, from how we shop to how we bank to how we watch sports. Now, I'm with uh, Moshe, my new friend here. He's come all the way from Israel, his company. Talk to us about what excites you about cyber technology here in Indianapolis. Well, actually, I'm extremely excited, mainly due to the fact that we do feel a kind of a significant trend of, of a migration, I may say, of cyber attacks and mainly cyber threats from the concentrated area mainly in the east and in the far west over here to the to the mid country mainly because i may say the bad guys are kind of pursuing more easier ways to challenge new businesses and new information assets yeah and so talk about some of those ways that they're getting access you were talking to me earlier about how people can buy kits online yeah absolutely i mean today it's it's unbearable easy to kind of buy buy your attacks either the whole ordeal of the attack or pieces of like cyber weapons in order to deploy your own cyber uh, cyber assertions so basically we see people that have that barely have any knowledge in cyber that are conducting serious and fearful cyber attacks. Well, that's pretty scary stuff. We're going to walk over here and take a look at, is this what sort of the dark web looks like? Explain what's sort of happening here. Yeah, basically over here, it's like that you are going shopping in Amazon, for instance. So over here in the dark web, you can order whatever. I mean, in this case, for instance, we see there was a breach in Yahoo. Okay, the bad guys like Seafoon and exfiltrated all kinds of data in regards of uh, passwords for emails and other credentials. So they put it over here for sale. And if you pay, you get it. You just get it. Another, another example is, for instance, if a bad guy now wants to fabricate his own driver license with his details, his name, or even with a fabricate picture, you can very easily do that by ordering your own, uh, your own driver license. And what is, what is your company doing? Because I'm seeing right now you can buy licenses, and I'm seeing a price tag on it. It's $14, $14 to buy a fake license, or a real license almost. What, are, what is your company doing to protect that? Well, we actually provide our, we help our clients basically Basically, to protect their information assets and their business by providing them a set of services of cyber defense arrays. All right. Well, it's good to know that there's people out there that are protecting people and businesses. And there's also going to be a startup pavilion here today and tomorrow. So if you have an idea or your neighbor has an idea, it's a good place to start. We'll have more information on how you can do that on wishtv.com. Back to you. And uh, 62 degrees.